Hey there, what's up? Santi here. Today we're gonna be talking about Morgan. Right here, I'm gonna show you this in a second, but first, of course, what is Morgan? Morgan is a calendar app, as you can see right there. And this kind of encompasses this idea that I have on using the right tool for the right job. Check out a video in here that I made about it. You should see it right there. And that is a video that I made about why I think it's a good idea to use different applications and trying to find the best one that does any given thing that you're looking for. I think as you get more advanced with your productivity system, it's a good idea to embrace that kind of mindset. So to me, Morgan really complements a lot of those ideas. And for me, it's really the best calendar experience. And I'll show you why in a second. So yeah, I mean, with that said, let me just show you the website at least, right? So here it is. The very first thing that you see is, of course, all about, uh, you know, managing your time is a time management tool for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which to me is a big deal because I use all of those operating systems and I really like sharing applications that kind of really push this idea of cross-platform so that no one is left out, right? I'm looking at you, Mac. You always do these things with your applications, but either way, never mind. So, you know, you can download that for your favorite thing, for your favorite operating system, the one that you're using. Here's a couple of really cool stuff that we're gonna be talking about. It has some built-in scheduling features that are really, really cool and they're gonna become next level as the app keeps progressing. So I'm really excited for a lot of that. There's a lot of like this idea of even integrating a bit of that task management that you can do. In my opinion, that's a bit simple right now. It's definitely possible. If you don't currently have a situation for dealing with tasks, I think it's a great solution, but I know that there's tons of really cool plans on integrating this with maybe the application that you're already using for test management it really depends if you are advanced if you're a beginner this could definitely be for you i'll talk more about that in a second and yeah tons of other cool features built into morgan it integrates with tons of different calendars that you might already be using so that is a huge plus which i'm going to be talking about but yeah with that said let's take a look so this is morgan right here as you can see there's a sidebar there's tons of really cool shortcuts if i press the spacebar you can toggle that on and off you can have tons of different um, tasks that for instance if you want to go I'm gonna actually use the shortcuts there's tons of amazing shortcuts in here there's of course ones for day week month and agenda so right now let's just go to today with letter T which we're already there thankfully and then on day right so we have something in here you know this is related to uh, cryptocurrency that is something that I'm getting myself into so yeah you know that might be something that I have planned for literally after making this video and then I want to maybe later on watch this really cool show that I'm watching, what if? And then whenever I watch that already, I can check it off. And that is off my list, right? For now, I'll leave it unchecked. You can also go to your weekly view where you can have everything or you can time block different things. For instance, let's say tomorrow, I want to work on this particular thing, create a newsletter, and I can drag it down like that. And now you can tag it such as business, right? There you go. And now that changes color, which to me is really important. I like having like this very visual way of representing all of the things that I'm looking at in my calendar. So of course, that to me, that's one of the biggest pros of Morgan straight away is super aesthetic. <laughs> if you are like me and you just love the aesthetics of an application, I believe it's important to, if you want to use an application that you're going to be looking at the whole day, I believe it's important for you to look in a way that you enjoy looking at. Did that make sense? I think it did. Cool. So let's move on to the next point. The different views. Again, if I press um, you know, D, I see the day. If I press M, I see the month, week with W, month like that. So in here, I have a bit of a bigger uh, view of what is in my plate for this month. I can press the spacebar to make it larger. And a really cool feature that I, I haven't seen many calendars integrate at least this well is the idea of the agenda. So you can press A and now you can see everything that you have in your plate in this agenda view. And then let's go back to month. As you can already see, the fact that it's dark mode to me is huge. I know I have a problem with dark mode. I almost ignore the applications that don't have a dark mode built in. I am that picky with dark mode. So the fact that Morgan is really, really like customizable, like in the, well, at least like in the ability of being able to have dark mode, light mode, whatever you like. To me, that's important, you know, because like if you were to use something like Google Calendar, which is the one that I was always using, I had to do a couple of weird hacks to make it dark mode and it just didn't work. Whereas if you look at this, it's just beautiful, right? So the aesthetics, the user interface, the shortcuts, all of this stuff to me is awesome. Now you can always select which application, which calendars you want to see. So, you know, for instance, right now I have Morgan demo and recurring example, you know, these tasks that I have recurring. So for instance, let's just toggle everything off and let's just have recurring ones. I have things such as my turn to walk the dog, 
um, well, this is holidays right here, actually. But for instance, something that I really, really use in Morgan and I love is the ability of just having these recurring tasks. So in this calendar, I'm going to just create something like, um, okay, this is a big concept, but this is the idea that I use of taking a week off every seven days. So right now, as you can see, I just dragged around and this is what is called the sabbatical week. This was created by a friend of mine called Sean West. Really cool concept. We're going to add it to recurring example like that. There we go. And now this task, let's just tag it, I don't know, rest, something like that, right? So right now it's green, but as you can see, the idea of this sabbatical week is taking periodic amounts of time to just rest. You know, it's a big concept. I'm going to link you to some, like, you know, some writings about that by Sean, Sean West, amazing concepts that I apply all the time. And this is like the idea of every seven weeks, you take a week off. So I do this all of the time. And of course I use my calendar for that. But the easiest way to do it in Morgan is to set a repeat. So in here, we're just going to write every seven weeks. And as you can see, it already knows what you're talking about. You click away and when you save, it just takes a second. And now every seven weeks, if I go forward in my calendar, as you can see, now we're in October, September, like that, you know, now it's already programmed into my schedule and now I can go back to today. There we go. And I know exactly when I don't want to schedule certain things because that's my week off and I don't want to be working on that week, you know? So that kind of stuff, you can easily do that. That is the same way that I did this thing for the dog. We take turns with my family. So I just did it every four days, you know, stuff like that. Again, you can have these different calendars. You can divide things in calendars. So Morgan Demo is the one that I was showing you. And here I have other things such as like, you know, uh, research for NASA, <laughs> photography session, you know, stuff like that. I have a call with Neil Armstrong soon, you know, so now you can really see what's next on the line. If you have this week view, you can even block the amounts of time. You can always drag and drop different tasks that you want to have. You can take this task right here and let's say that you want to wash the dishes at this time. You can prolong the amount of time, all this kind of stuff. I think it's super intuitive, very easy to use. In my opinion, there's a couple of ways you can approach Morgan, either have it as your go-to calendar and just a calendar, or you can actually start using it with tons of the other features that it has, such as the scheduling tool, which can replace something like Calendly or Calendar Hero. And that can, of course, be a great way to make the most out of Morgan, or you can actually use it for task management, which I think is particularly useful for those of you that really center your task management system around time blocking. You know, time blocking, really, this is going to be probably the best way to do it. And, you know, a couple of other things that you can do, like you can integrate it with um, the scheduling features so that you can schedule calls easily and someone else can just pick the times in which, you know, you can have a meeting and so on. You will always be able to know when you have a meeting and you can even access it through a button that you get down in the corner, stuff like that. Really cool stuff. I really think that as Morgan keeps progressing, it's going to get just better and better. So, you know, who is this for? Is this for you? Let's figure it out, right? I think Morgan is really going to be amazing for you if you use a lot of different calendars, for instance, or you want to have a very aesthetic experience with your calendar, particularly if you're frustrated with whatever calendar you currently use. You know, I used to use Google Calendar. It was always a bit clunky. You know, I never fully liked it. I, I was like, no, this is too clunky. But, you know, Morgan solved a lot of things for me when it comes to the aesthetic that is really important for me, the shortcuts, the nice interface the way it nicely integrates in my computers and stuff like that, you know, cool stuff like that. But one of the main things that really Morgan truly shines at, you know, is the fact that it can integrate different calendars. So say that you use Google Calendar personally for your personal life. Maybe, uh, I don't know, like for some reason you have an Outlook calendar as well, that maybe you have a project with a couple of friends and everyone for some reason uses Outlook, <laughs> you know, now you can bring both of those things into Morgan in a very nice experience or, you know, let's say that you also have additionally to that a business calendar, something that you work in your enterprise and on your company, you know, enterprise sounds serious. But either way, you get the idea, like your company maybe uses uh, some calendar that is not really supported to integrate with Google Calendar, with Outlook. How do you see all your calendars in one place? Well, Morgan is going to be great for that, especially if you're in Windows, Linux like me, you know, there really isn't like great built in way to integrate all of these things. Granted, there might be a way to do it in Mac, but the fact that most of us don't have just a Mac ecosystem with an iPhone, literally I have an Android, a Linux, and I'll be replacing this old Mac with a Windows computer soon, like Morgan becomes a really good way to see all your calendars in one place. So I believe that's where it shines. Take a look, check it out. 
Morgan really is a premium experience. So, you know, it really depends on what applications you're using it for. The scheduling tool is amazing. Definitely give it a try because if you're using, if you're like me, if you're using something like Calendar here or Calendly, this could already replace the need for that, which of course makes it more efficient of an application, right? Make sure to check out the website. There's frequently asked questions. You can check out everything in here. So if you're like me, you've had a very frustrating experience with other calendars. This might be what you're looking for. In case you do want to give it a try, check out the link in the description. Is that a fill-in link? So you do support this channel to help me make more videos like this if you use it. And with that said, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to dig, digger, dig deeper into more of the Morgan features, perhaps the scheduling tool that I think is a really cool interface that is probably going to replace all the tools that you're already using for that. If you have a lot of meetings, that kind of stuff. So yeah, let me know if you would like me to discuss Morgan further. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.